How strange does it feel for you two to be here? You are experienced journalists, reporter, used to reporting on the activities of others, and here you are, the centre of this story yourself. How strange does it feel? Dimitri. Я чувствую себя человеком не на своем месте. Я, для меня все это неожиданно. Теперь придется оправдывать это звание. Приблизительно так. And Maria, winner of the Nobel Peace Prize. Ah, uh, you know the painting, the scream. Ah, that's that's it. I do. Ah. Right. <laughs> What does it mean, do you think, not just for you personally, because of course there must be enormous satisfaction, but you sit here as the first journalist to win this award since 1935. What do you think it says that you've won it this year? Я про весь мир не скажу вам. А для нашей редакции, для новой газеты, это, конечно, означает то, что наши потери, те Наши журналисты, которые погибли за свою профессию, это их награда. И я этому рад, что эту награду получили, конечно, Юра Щекочихин, Игорь Домников, Политковская Аня, Наташа Истемирова, Стас Маркелов, Настя Бабурова. И это очень важно. Но еще очень важно, что и живые, кто работает на их местах, кто занимается сейчас большими данными, расследованиями, репортажами. И это их награда тоже. Это награда профессионалам, а не пропагандистам. Мария, Дмитрий's answer took in the fact that over many years he has seen journalists working for him and for Novaya Gazeta killed. The stakes are very high for independent journalism in a whole range of countries, including yours. Do you feel the stakes are getting higher? It's existential. This is the moment. The last time a journalist won this, he, Karl von Osiecki, languished in a concentration camp, a Nazi concentration camp. And it feels like the Nobel Committee, by spotlighting journalists, are recognizing a similar historical moment that, that <laughs> journalists are under attack in ways that we've never be experienced before. Um, and I think, you know, when you... And it's interesting with Russia, when you live in a time when people cannot tell fact from fiction, when lies actually spread faster than facts. And here we are, the journalists, just trying to plug our, hole, our finger in the hole in the dam uh, at great risk to ourselves, right? So, yeah, I think this is precisely why uh, the Nobel Committee chose journalists. We're placeholders for the people, but I think they're saying this existential moment requires not just journalists but people in every democracy to stand up and recognize the moment that we must act.